In this video segment, we will be looking at the process of transcription. This is the first step in gene expression. Gene expression is a two-step process where we start with a gene, which is part of our DNA. We transcribe that into a messenger RNA molecule before it is translated into a protein. The process of transcription occurs in the nucleus of a cell, and this is because that is where the DNA is located. Translation, we will see, will happen out in the cytoplasm of the cell. We have seen that genes are segments of DNA that code for a protein. These genes are located on chromosomes. We learned that in between genes, these intergenic regions are often junk DNA, which is a non-coding region. In humans, about 98% of our DNA actually falls in this junk DNA section. Inside of genes, there are two major parts, the introns and the exons. Introns are internal junk. These introns will be removed because they are non-coding regions of DNA. The exons will then be stuck back together and they will be expressed. So it's actually the exons that will go on to translation. Other important structures or parts of our gene include a promoter region. The promoter is found at the beginning of a gene. At the end of the gene, we see another important segment called the termination sequence. The termination sequence signals the end of a gene. We can compare gene expression to making cookies. The first process, transcription, happens in the nucleus of the cell. This is when a copy of the DNA is made. This can be compared to going over to your grandmother's and copying your favorite cookie recipe out of your grandma's cookbook. The cookbook stays at grandma's house, just like the DNA stays in the nucleus. But you can make a copy, like the cell makes a copy of the DNA, the mRNA. That copy of the recipe is then mobile and can leave grandma's house and go to your house, just like the mRNA can leave the nucleus and go to the cytoplasm. Once in the cytoplasm, that mRNA is translated into something different, an amino acid sequence that will become a protein. At your house, the recipe on that note card will be translated from words into actual ingredients and it will become a cookie. Transcription has four steps. First we will see recognizing and binding, so the RNA polymerase will recognize and bind. The RNA polymerase will transcribe the DNA. Termination is at the end of transcription and then we will see that the mRNA will be capped and edited before it is sent out to the cytoplasm. The first step of transcription is to recognize and bind. Here's our piece of DNA. At the beginning of this gene, there is a promoter site. This is the start of the gene. Remember, at the end of the gene, there is also a termination sequence, which I will abbreviate TS. Our enzyme, RNA polymerase, will attach to the promoter site and bind to that DNA. The RNA polymerase will also unwind a piece of the DNA just a little bit so it can read the message inside. The second step of transcription is to transcribe. This is sometimes called elongation. So remember our DNA strand has been unwound just a little bit our RNA polymerase, which started at that promoter section of the gene, is now moving down the DNA 
As it goes, RNA polymerase will read the DNA and create a mRNA molecule using the base pairing rules that we have learned. Let's review those rules. If DNA has a T, RNA will use an A. If DNA has an A, RNA will use a U. DNA has a C, it will, RNA will have a G. And if DNA has a G, RNA will have a C. Let's take a minute to practice this transcription process using our base pairing rules. Pause the video for a moment and transcribe the following section of DNA. T-A-T, T-A-G, T-A-G, G-T-C. So, after transcription occurs, we will have created an mRNA piece that reads A-U-A, A-U-C, A-U-C, C-A-G. The third step of transcription is termination. During this step, the RNA polymerase reaches the termination sequence of the gene. This signals the end of transcription. The RNA polymerase will be released and the mRNA will also be released. Our mRNA molecule is now going to be capped and edited. The last stage of transcription is capping and editing. A cap will be added to the beginning and a tail to the ending of our mRNA molecule. This will help protect it as it leaves the nucleus. It will also help the ribosomes recognize the mRNA and attach. During this time, editing will also occur where the introns of the mRNA are snipped out, leaving behind just the exons which will be expressed. At this point, transcription has come to an end. Our DNA has now been transcribed to make an mRNA product, which is ready to move to the cytoplasm. The next step is translation. In this video, we have covered the process of transcription. This is where we make mRNA based on a DNA template.